Welcome to Tech Brother with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to load tab the limited file in a SQL Server uh, table. So first of all, we have to have some file that is tab delimited. So I am going to input folder. I have created one tab delimited file, and let me show you. So if you can see that this is the tab, tab delimited file with the uh, header row ID, first name, last name, address, and phone number, and I have three records uh, in this file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load these records in one of the SQL table. So I have already table with the customer name. So I'm going to truncate that table. And I have created a table with the, the columns ID, integer, first name, last name, and address with the worker 100 values, uh, data length. And now I have a phone number that's worker 10. So if I can read some information and compare with the definition. So if I see that the uh, first name is Amir, John, and Christy, they are uh, like five, six characters, and uh, the last name is Shehzad, Rivers, and Smith, they are also five or six characters or seven. Um, but I have taken that one of uh, worker 100. Uh, this is the first time I'm loading into file. What I, I, I want to do, I want to load into table, then I want to take the max and uh, you know adjust the um, data length of my columns. So there could be a big uh, you know files you have it, maybe the millions of records, and you want to load them first, and then it's easy when you come to the SQL Server and you can adjust them. And uh, then you then then you can make a final changes into the SQL Server table definition, and you know keep loading the files. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the um, bids or uh, SSDT SQL Server Data Tools or Business Intelligent Development Studio. Open that one, and uh, I have installed SSDT uh, as uh, my SQL Server version is uh, twenty uh, fourteen or even if you have 2012, you will have SSDT, and if you have later previous versions, you will have bids. So open a new, uh, create a new project if you need to, you know, go to new projects and create the SSIS project, or you can open already exist existing one. So I uh, click open project. Okay, so I have created a uh, project called Tech Brothers. All right. So the next step, uh, what we need to do, we need to create a new SSIS package. So right click on SSIS packages. Give me a second. Okay, so here we have new SSIS package. So what we are uh, going to do, we are going to load a tab delimited file. So let's rename this package, you know, uh, load tab delimited file to SQL table. Okay, that's what we are going to do. So I changed the name of the package. Uh, it's good to practice to change the name of your packages instead of having package one, two, three, and you, you, if you have to find out which package is doing what, uh, you will not be able to you know, find it. If you have uh, named them correctly, it's real quick you know, for you to find out. So the next step is we are going to use the data flow task. Inside the data flow task, we can use the source and destination, read the data and load the data. So to read the data from the tab, the limited file, we need to use flat file source, okay? All right, so let's create a new connection. So hit new. Now you need to browse all the way to the file that you want to load. I have in the input folder. Click here, so I have tabbed customer and uh, some date and time at the end of the file. So select that file and then you have .txt, okay? But uh, this page is asking you some information if you have a uh, text qualified in the file, you, you know, if you want to change it single quotes or double quotes, I don't have any. My values are straight values with no quotes. So first uh, row also has uh, the column names, that's correct, so I want to keep this one and go to columns. Okay, so it, it automatically took the tab uh, as a column delimiter. Uh, but, yeah, so, sometime if it, if it would not take it, you can always go and select according to your you know choice. And let's say I, I made this one to comma right now, and if I refresh it, so if you can see that it read everything in one because there is no comma delimiter you know for a column. So I can go back here and I can do tab again, and I can refresh it so it will read the data correctly. Next one is advance the. Right now, what it is doing, it is creating the columns with these uh, um, column width and data types. So it is a string 50, string 50, and string 50 for all of them. So let's say in ID, I know that it's not a um, string value. It is going to be integer, 
so I can change it so I can I, I took four bytes sign integer it's not going to be negative so uh, you know it's going to positive number for ID so I, I select that one so I have first name I can leave this one I can change this one to 100 because this is what I have in my table and if I want to change this one to uh, you know column name let's say first name last name or something I, I can always go back and change this one here if I want to do last name okay and I have phone number that's 50 but I know that is a 10 in my table so I, I change this one to the 10 all right so let's preview the data everything is coming correctly hit OK so now retain null values from the source as null values in the data if you are having some blank values and you want to convert them to the null values uh, that that's where you need to check uh, in my case I don't see that uh, is happening and I have the video uh, that explain this entire property and uh, you know uh, show you step by step how to do it so you can visit that video as well uh, click on the columns and you see all those columns and the, the names are coming correctly fine so we are going to hit in OK and now we need to bring the destination in which we want to load the data so we are we want we were we are going to load the data into SQL server table so I can use the OLADB destination here I click here and then I'm gonna make a connection to the SQL server create a new connection I have already one connection uh, manager available I can use that one as it is pointing to the same database where my table is um, it is in the test uh, DB you know and my table name is the customer so I can use that one but I, I'm gonna quickly delete this one and create a new one to show you how to do it so here you can click here and bring uh, the name of the uh, SQL server instance but if you have a lot of instance uh, or SQL server installed on the same network it, it's gonna bring all of them and it's gonna take some time so you can always go back instead of uh, you know um, drop down you can go back and get the server name from here on which you want to load the data copy it go back and paste it here so you do not have to click here and it will validate it, it try to bring the information you know so we can skip that and uh, save some time and now you put your database name where your table is you test the connection you test it successfully okay so we have the connection manager ready now the next step is load the data into the table and we have to select the table so in my case I have only DBO customer table in the entire database so select that one go to mappings and we are uh, we we need to map the input columns to the destination columns here if the column names are same they are going to map automatically if they are not you have to do it manually so first name and last name all right so we have everything mapped correctly now and uh, we can go ahead and load our data so let's go back and truncate the table in case we have some records here and now check if there is any record in this table no all right uh, come in here and run your SSIS package or start your SSIS package and see if it completes successfully so the, yes the package did complete successfully and we can see that three rows uh, are inserted from the source to the destination go back and check the data in the table so yeah we can see that three rows are successfully inserted in the table thank you very much uh, for watching this video for more videos you can visit us as tech brothers at youtube or you can uh, see our blog at sqlageblogspot.com thanks